What's up guys, my name is Kashan and this is another video. Today I'm about to make a mask just like this one. But before we go into the video, I just want to announce this is not a tutorial. But if you want, you can follow along. I put the sewing patterns in the description below. So everything you need is down there if you want to follow along with me. So with that being said, let's get started with this video. Alright, so the reason why I got these bags of fabric is because a long time ago, like way before I was old enough to get a job, I didn't really get to have the stuff that I wanted, so I learned how to make things. Like, I was a maker before being a maker was cool. While I was making things when I was little, I picked up on different types of skills. Like, I'm good at electronics, woodworking, so on and so forth, and one of the other skills I'm good at is sewing. So, I mean, these are all the scraps I've accumulated over the years. Some of it's new, some of it's old. I'm not really sure which is which. But what I'm looking for is the white fabric that I used to make that mask. And I'm pretty sure this is it right here. There's actually a larger piece of it, but I, I can't be bothered to get the whole thing out. So, let's get to tracing the pattern on this thing so we can get started. Now that we have the pattern traced on and transferred to this fabric, all we have to do now is cut this out, leave a little bit of space for a seam allowance, and then uh, sew it together. We're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this, with the stitch going down, then we're about to flip it inside out, and then iron the seam in so you get pretty much this type of look. Alright, so now that I'm done sewing this line right here, I'm about to cut away a little bit of this extra material so that it does not get in the way later on down the line. Now when you flip it inside out, you'll get something that looks a bit like this. Then you want to iron this crease down so that it holds its shape. Alright, so now that we're back from the ironing board, um, the second one pretty much looks identical from the other one that I just showed you earlier. So, what we're going to have to do now, even though we just ironed them both to get this seam nice and crisp, uh, one of them's going to have to get flipped back inside out again. So, yeah, that's going to happen. And I'm just going to line them up. Wait a sec. That almost became a disaster. Alright, line them up so that both the clean sides are facing in with each other. And you only see the outline sides on the outside. I'm about to sew these two together on this line at the top. And I'm going to do that on both sides of it. So that when the line is done, I can flip it inside out. And it looks all clean. And you only see, the only lines you see are these clean seams. So, that being said, uh, yeah, I'm going to get right to it. This top line completely from end to end so now I just gotta sew that bottom line but before I do that I want to turn this thing inside out to see what the heck this seam looks like or just to get a better idea of how this mask is gonna end up looking because quite frankly I'm uh, I'm not really that person head out I'm not really that patient of a person if that makes any sense Alright, so I am really surprised of what I was able to come up with after ironing this thing. Alright, so basically this is the inside, this is the outside, and as you can see, it already has that mask shape to it. Like, it's, pre it's pretty crazy. And, if I put it over my face, 
you can kind of see like how it's about to come to be. Like it's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. So now what I got to do is as much as I just want to keep looking at it the way it is now, I, I got to put this back inside out and I got to sew the bottom halves together on both ends. But man, this is coming together quite nicely. So I'm going to just do that real quick. And uh, yeah, and I am back. And this is pretty much what I came up with. I just finished sewing that bottom part. So now it is completely sewn. All the seams are sewn on both sides. Uh, now all we have to do now is turn it inside out through this side. Or this side, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. Alright, now just like what we did, ironing this top half, we have to iron this bottom seam as well to tighten it up, get it to be just perfect to get it to pop. Alright, now I'm back from the ironing board once again, and as you can see, Clearly all the lines, all the seams are crisp. Like, it is freaking amazing. They no longer look like the edge up here. It's as if I used a sewing machine or something. When in fact, it was all hand stitched. Oh, and I almost forgot. It goes in your face super easily. Like, it's crazy. And not just that. My beard is coming together quite nicely. So now all I got to do is make some straps on the ends. I got to tidy up these ends a little bit so that they're not fraying like they are now. Ah! And now, that all, and now that all that's out the way, I've actually taken the liberty to fold the outside edges in on themselves to make this a little easier for me to sew the straps on and sew it up. But as for straps, I literally don't have anything to use as straps. I This is the only elastic I had. And we already know, this is it's not going to fit behind your ear. So with all that being said, I went in my closet. I found a couple of book bags. And I, I, I don't know about y'all, but I really hate these things. I have like 10 of them. So I'm just going to use uh, one of the straps from these. And hopefully this should be good enough to hold up a mask. I mean, when it's put behind your ear, it feels okay. I just hope I choose the right size. So I'm going to have to do some measuring. Alright, now that we got the straps cut to the right size, all we have to do now is sew the other end of the strap to the mask. And as for how I sewed these straps on here, I used a sewing technique called the Henson Stitch. And if you don't know what the Henson Stitch is, it is a technique that was developed by Jim Henson. And Jim Henson is the one who made the puppets for the Muppets. And the reason why I'm using the Henson Stitch for this mask to attach the straps is because I don't want any of the thread to be visible on the seam. You don't have to do the Henson Stitch, you can just do an in and out stitch, but the Henson Stitch is what I'm going to do. So, let's get to sewing this mug. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came round, I was heading for a small disaster. Before you came round, I was ready to blow me. Alright guys, so the mask is finished and I am so amazed at what I was able to create. Like, I gotta say, the pattern I used to make this, I mean, although it is accurate to the pattern that's in the description, I didn't actually print out the pattern. Like, I freehand drew the pattern. And I just lined it up with the screen to try to see if the lines, like, met up or something like that. And it fits perfectly, too. Like, the straps are the right size and everything. 
And on top of all that, I'm just surprised that this turned out so well because the last time I've sewn was like, I think like three or four years ago. And the fact that I was able to create something like this, but seems so nice and so neat, so well put together, is just amazing to me. But I gotta say, I'm just glad that I get to practice building things whenever I get the chance. If you wanna see another build video, check out the electric longboard build series I have on my channel. And if that's not your taste, I have other videos on my channel. So if you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be notified of my videos. And with all that out the way, stay indoors and stay safe.